A good morning to you on the other side right now. My name is Trixie right here with you guys this morning. A nice Sunday morning. Welcome to Adam FM Gospel Vibe. I just had to, I just had to reach out. I just had to reach out this morning because just lately, people, there's so much been happening on the island. Well, not just the island. I'm going keep us in the island. There's so much been happening around Earth, around the world, around the globe. It's a global issue, a universe issue that man created. And the only way we could come out from this is by prayer. I just got some news on my phone there yesterday. Somebody posted on the status. Uh, this is this is this is really a war. This is really a battle. But in the midst of all this, God is coming through for us. But before I continue this segment this morning, I want to reach out to you guys and say good morning to you. Happy Sunday. Happy Sabbath going out to you. And also on the way going to church this morning. I pray that you have a blessed day today, a day that you are sanctified and feel the blessings are pouring down on you for this day. Not just this day, I pray that uh, you guys have a blessed week ahead. Yeah. I want to spread the love of Jesus Christ with you guys this morning. I know you might have been through a tough week. A lot have been happening lately around us. Some persons are not making the correct amount of money that we were making before this pandemic. Maybe some persons have lost their job. Or some places are requesting that you take the vaccine before you or before to come to work. I really don't know what to say on this one. All I could tell you, the Bible said that there is a time for everything. Now what we're going through right now in this pandemic, I don't know how long it may last. But what I could tell you, this is not a plague. If it was a plague, would have known already this is a man-made issue global issue now in the book of ecclesiastic yeah ecclesiastic yeah that's the word in the book of ecclesiastic uh, chapter 3 verses 1 to 3 it says that there is a time for everything a season for every activity under the heavens I'm reading from the New International Version. And the Bible said there's a time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. I didn't say the Bible said it. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. Yo. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to search and a time to give up. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to mend. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. Now, in that uh, scripture, two of them took my attention. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time for war and a time for peace. And this is not an ordinary war. This is a serious battle going on here, people. Now, we got to really come together and pray together and ask God for the blessings. Ask God to intervene in this situation right here, in this pandemic. But on that note, I don't have much time right here, guys. I just want to reach out to you guys on the outside there. We got to really come together because no government can save us from this thing. You don't you trust me when I say this. What's happening right now between uh, the two governments that was been in, been in power or your government in your state or your country? It's not them. They have no say in that. They really do not have any say in this. It's a universe issue, a global issue. It's the system. There are bigger leaders out there who's embracing or pushing those laws on us about the vaccine, about this various uh, var- variant virus. I don't even know the name of it. The Delta variant. I also understood this whole one, uh, the Delta variant plus. 
Yo, is that an iPhone or what? There's a plus to it again. I did my research. But this thing is not normal. Something is not right about that. I got so much to say about this thing, bro. But uh, right now, I just want to reach out to you guys and say, hold on, people. Hold on. There's a time for everything, and this is not going to last forever. We're just going through this little season right now. Things will get back better. Things will be better. The world is going through a global crisis, a global issue. But things will get better. So good morning to you right now. Good morning to those on the outside. I want to wish you that have a blessed week. And get used to this segment every Sunday or every weekend, I would say. My name is Trixie Rod here with, with you guys. And this one is called Break Every Chain. Now before I make an exit, I got another track right here for you guys. Do enjoy to the fullest and uh, enjoy. I want to wish you that you guys have a blessed week ahead. For those who don't have a job on the outside, I wish that you get a job this month and this week. I pray that you get this job. For those who don't know the way to go, I pray that you get to know that way that God is leading you to. Trust the process. For those who are financially broken, I don't know where the financial need to come from. I pray that God provide for you guys. So I want to wish you guys the best of blessings on Island FM this morning. A nice Sunday morning, August 22nd, 2021. Let a friend know. This won't last forever. God is in the midst of this. Just have God in the center of all this. This one is called uh, Gratefully Broken by Tasha Cobb. So good morning to you on the outside right here. Good morning to you. A good day. I want to wish you guys the best for today. For those who are not feeling too well today or not inspired today. I hope this is a segment has just got you inspired. You may feel like you want to do something today. I need you to wake up this morning. Get up from those bed. From your bed. And get something done today. Let's make this happen. May God reach the best you guys. And do enjoy to the fullest. And whatever you're going through, just have God at the center of it. Because your blessing is just around the corner. If you believe it and you have faith, your faith could really move mountains, you know. Last year, if I tell you something, people, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to give you a little, a little testimony. For the last uh, five to six, eight years, I've been going to an uh, eye specialist just to check on my eye, to be honest. This is so funny, yo. And every year, I do that eye check of you. I have 20-20 vision. Like, my vision is on point. My eyes are on point. I don't wear glasses. I, I, I never like glasses. And my vision is on point. Right? And now, 2020 arrived last year. And I do not know what happened along the way. Yo, last year, man, people, I tell you, last year was not a real year. I don't know what was last year. 2020 was not a real year. I did not have the correct visions I used to have. Literally, I was seeing blurry in one eye. I just could not read with that eye. Only could have seen colors. I was very much worried about it. Like, how I always had 20-20 vision for some reason. I don't have 20-20 vision in the year 2020. And that's supposed to be the year that I acknowledge that blessing. But uh, despite everything, God is good. So all throughout the year, yeah, we, we got to 2021. And right now in 2021. My vision was not there as yet. I could actually only see in one eye. Now, God work in a mysterious way, people. Seriously, God work in a mysterious way. I've been going to the doctor, the eye specialist, month after month. Pain, monies, and stuff. Now, for some reason, uh, I had an appointment at least two days before something happened to me. I entered the vehicle. You know when you enter your vehicle, you got to open the door, right? I opened that door every day for work. 
And for some reason that day, I literally banged the door in my eye. The damaged eye. I had my shades on. Thank God I had my shades on because if not, I could have damaged the eye a lot more. And from that moment, I thought I was seen bad. But I was seen worse than I was seen in that eye. Like literally, I could not see in that eye. No vision, just blurriness all over. Now in all of that, the Bible said everything give thanks, right? So I give thanks and say like, you know what? In everything, Lord, you say give thanks, so I give thanks for this knock. Like literally just like that. Like I just could not understand why did I get that knock in that eye. Yo, so now I went to the doctor two days after that happened. Yo, man, the doctor told me like, yo, for some reason today is the only day that they cannot do nothing for me. And I have internal bleeding in my eye, right? Literally internal bleeding. The doctor could literally look into my eye and see there is dead blood or blood that was floating around. I was marveled at this. Like, what did I do my eye? Like, I need my eye to see I have a future ahead of me. <laughs> Yo, Lord, I surrender right now. Give God the praise, people. Give God the praise. And now I'm being very, very honest with you guys. So that happened, right? They could not give me any medication, any, uh, nothing, no drops, nothing. They could not do nothing for me. But he told me that to come back every month to take a checkup. So now even a month, I came back, right? Remember I told you my eye was really bad. It was really, really bad after that knock. A month after I came back, they did the eye checkup with me, like work, uh, my eye said like, if I could properly read. I was see properly like small stuff, small letters on the screen how they normally do it. To God be the glory. Amen. That day, I think that was my best day during my eye situation. Yo. <laughs> I had 20-20 vision in my right eye, right? Now into my left eye that was damaged, badly damaged. Or injured, I would say. With blood in there. When they did that eye checkup for me, like I had to read uh, the smallest thing on the screen without glasses, yo. <laughs> I could have literally read every single letter on there. Like I just couldn't believe it. But in my head, all throughout the time, moving about at home, at work, and everything, I was praying that you know one day I will get back my vision. Just give it time, bro. God did that for you. That knock was not just a normal knock. What work in a mysterious way. So all I could tell you guys right now, trust the process. Now, prior to that, I had to go see the doctor, right? After the eye uh, examination, I had to go see the doctor so that they could view the eye, right? So now, he's looking into my eye. He's still seeing the floating blood around, like the dead blood floating around. But he just cannot understand the, di the, the, the reading of the eye. Like they gave him a, a reading like on a paper, like my eye situation, yeah. And I just could not believe, like, yo, man, like, your eye is literally 98% there. Like, you could literally see in the eye. I told him, yeah, I could definitely see. I could read in the eye. I was so thankful. Give God the glory. Amen. So what I'm here to say right now, trust the process. You might be going through something right now that you just cannot understand. But your destination is around the corner. Your miracle is around the corner. All right? Right now, this pandemic... It's a season that we are all facing. But God is good. In this, in everything, God is good. God is into the maze of eldest. You know, I know you might be wondering where your next meal coming from. How do you gotta pay the bill? We all are in that situation right now. Everybody is facing that pandemic right now. So what I could tell you right now, trust the process. So guys, I gotta make an exit right now. That's gonna be my little testimony for you guys. So do enter to the full so right here on Island FM. I'm your DJ, your host. I'm Trixie, if you're ask if you're asking. And this has been a little gospel vibe, a gospel segment right here this morning. On that note, do enjoy to the fullest. I wish you a blessed and wonderful uh Sunday. Do enjoy church to the fullest.
Jeff Riley, look out for this segment every Sunday, every weekend right here. I'm trying my best to do this. It's not that easy. I, I, go, I have a blessing. I have a talent, and I want to really use it for God, to glorify God, right? If you got a talent that God gives you, remember to use it to glorify God, right? Because God is the one giving us talent, and we got to use it to do the right thing. And the more we use our talent, the more we multiply our talent. So do something positive today. You're going to be a lot happier. Yeah. Oh, no, no, they're going to make an exit. Do enjoy the fullest. Have a blessed Sunday. I like the vibe, you know. I really like the vibe. I feel it's so free right now this morning. Yeah, because God, I put God first. Trust me, if you have not tried Jesus as yet, that's the best vaccine you could get. The Jesus vaccine. On that note, do enjoy.